This video is advertiser friendly and complies with YouTube's advertiser friendly content guidelines. <laughs> Let's get ready to rumble. In their natural habitat, chickens are actually very fierce and precious. Watch as we remove the lid on this feed. Under this lid is a turkey box. Let's see how the chickens react when we flip the lid. Immediately the chickens are drawn to the carcass, feasting on it as wild carnivores. Will the chicken carcass survive? I'm oh, sorry, the turkey carcass. Great protein for eggs. Not much left after the killer attack chickens have moved in. And this is why getting a dog bowl for your chickens can be a good idea. Alright, today it's turkey gravy. seem to enjoy that a lot more and they're a lot less vicious. Do you want to learn to follow the commands of the Almighty One True God? If you do, go to ChristianCourts.com. There's a free PDF book you can download, audiobook, and video where you can listen and learn God's laws. Make America great again. Help establish Christian law in communities all across the world. God bless you. This video is brought to you today by Blazing Hog 4G LTE. Get blazing fast internet speeds up to 150 megabits per second. You get $49.99 off when you use the code and the phone number in the description of this video or the code right below my finger here, the coupon code. It works anywhere, rain or shine, within five miles of an AT&T or T-Mobile cell tower. Check it out. All you have to do is call 1-888-306-7062 and mention account number SR2808 when you call or call or email me directly with your service name and address and contact information like a telephone number and an email address.
Now enjoy the rest of this video. That's an order, son. Thanks for watching the video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Just bless you. Please click the links in the description of the video and go to ChristianCourts.com. Click the donate button because we need your help. Get the Blazing Hog 4G LTE internet. It's available anywhere. There's T-Mobile or AT&T signal within five miles of a cell tower or 20 miles with a repeater. Okay, it's really fast, especially in rural areas or areas where there's no other people around. It's just super, super fast. Okay. The other thing that you need to do is check out Straight Talk. I've got a coupon for Straight Talk, and if you use that coupon, you're going to get a month free worth of bonus points when you sign up, as long as you enroll for the bonus point program that they've got, the rewards. And every time that you make a purchase, you're going to get more points as well. And then I'm going to get points. So if 10 of you sign up for Straight Talk, I should get two years of free service worth of points and you guys should get two months of free service each. It works on Sprint, it works on Verizon, and it works on T-Mobile and AT&T. Okay, it works on all four networks. You can bring your own phone, you can bring your existing phone, especially if they're unlocked, uh, over to Straight Talk and you can switch between networks. All you gotta do is have either a GSM phone, a Sprint phone, or a Verizon phone and you can switch between the networks. AT&T and T-Mobile are both GSM, so you can switch between them. I don't know if uh, Sprint is, but it's a really good deal. I pay $38 a month for unlimited texting and calling anywhere in the United States, and I also get two gigabytes of data plus unlimited slower data after that, which I've never used all the data as far as I know. Uh, you can get bigger, better plans. You can get a fully unlimited plans. Uh, from Straight Talk, but I only pay $38 a month. I use my Blazing Hog for all the other internet, okay? And you guys should do the same. You can also check out how to build a moped.com and how to win in court. Those are great resources as well. As well, please go to donate and help me out. I need a new computer and there's other things I need so I can keep bringing you guys videos. So thanks again and God bless you. Bye. They're, they're always playing tricks, okay? These types of people, when you get in the courts, they're always playing tricks. Uh, first of all, I want to show you this page here, okay? This is on how to win in court, jurisdictionary. Now, if you, the first thing I want to show you before I show you the page and what it is, is this code right here at the bottom of the page. It says BJ0089. If you're not seeing that code, okay, then you have not clicked on the correct link in the description of this video or in the card to get to the page. So what this is, this is a law course that's online. They're going to give you a 10 minute quiz here for free to see if you're ready for court. You think you're the know-it-all, you think you know. Okay, you click on this 10 minute quiz, you take the questions, and if you don't know the answers, you're not ready for court. It doesn't matter if you're an expert in common law. It doesn't matter if you um, are an expert in all kinds of different types of law, God's law, uh, maybe city law, whatever. If you have don't know this stuff on this site, um, you're, you're gonna be in trouble, okay? Don't throw your computer into the recycle bin. Make your computer great again. Go to www.justuselinux.com. So first thing we're gonna do is drag Windows 10 to the recycle bin. So hopefully you guys saw the video of me cruising around on the bike. I'm pretty sure I did that. Boy, that reflector is reflective in the camera, isn't it? Um, but anyways, I'm going to show you guys my lighting. I got my lighting all done. So there's the uh, just the standard running lights and the uh, license plate right there. Got the license plate light going. You can see it there. Okay, so that's sweet. And you can find that on howtobuildamoped.com, that part there. I got it for free. Somebody sent me that. 
and I've been waiting a long time to install it. It's probably a year since somebody sent me that to review, and uh, I thought, well, I'm going to have to build a motorbike for this or get an electric bike or something, you know. Anyway, so here's how this is wired up. So I went under here. I stayed the same colors, and then I went to, see, I went to regular wires there, and uh, the 16 gauge, because these guys claim that this draws like 40 watts of power, but it doesn't even register on uh, my power supply, so I don't think it, I don't think it really draws anything. But anyway, so wires go along here underneath the gas tank. Tried to keep them nice and clean and out of sight there with the black wrapping around like that. And of course, you can see down here the extra hardware. Now I was able to use the same mount for the uh, the uh, CDI there for the uh, regulator. Um, now, a regulator, just a, a rectifier goes from uh, DC to AC, I'm sorry, AC to DC, alternating current to direct current. And uh, basically, I've, you can you can get those even smaller, but they've got to have a heat sink on them, and so that's pretty much the way to go. Verybikebrightlights.com has a kit you put on. You don't have to wire any of this stuff up. It just has plugs, and you plug it all in, and it's done. But there we go. And then, of course, I got my motorcycle uh, headlight switch here. This is for four-way. I, I changed this to be four-way flashers because I need a switch for that. This switch sucks. This is the one that came with the headlights here, and uh, this switch sucks because when I turn them off, uh, sometimes the red laser stays on. It didn't this time, but there it flashes. There you go to low beam, so I don't use all my power. There's the red laser. It's supposed to be pointed upside down. The red laser is supposed to be on the ground. I don't know. I mean, I'd have to figure out a way to turn this upside down. And if I did, I think it would just hit my basket. Here's left signal light, right signal light. Somebody sent me these signal lights too. Uh, what I'd like to do, honestly, is have just a little light, yellow light here hooked into this, just so it's easy to see from the side. But, you know, this is the side profile of the bike. Even, you know, you can see I'm kind of behind it. And you can still see the signal light from this side. So, pretty good. Now, as far as the other side, though, um we'll do the same thing go back here now it's kind of invisible see so even if i put them i mean i guess i could put them up higher but i don't know anyway that's that and then of course my four ways and we'll go back and look at the back ones now brake lights are not on the brake lights are on would be much brighter of course i don't have the headlight on so my running lights aren't on because i connected all that together